We always have the sun and the sky to lift our spirits. And on this glorious day in the beautiful Hunter Valley, I rose to greet the sun for an uplifting experience. It's a beautiful morning. Lifting me way up into the sky is national balloon champion, Matt Scape of Balloons Aloft, and my date. I'm floating above the Hunter Valley with Kevin Stubbles, my new boyfriend. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> well, actually, he's a living legend. Nice. This is like an Olympic medal. Kevin Sobel is the humble giant of winemakers. His family started Sobel Wines over 150 years ago. It's just beautiful out here. It's just magnificent. There is no other place in the world that's got so much activity. The kangaroos. Oh, the kangaroos! Kevin's right. You don't see a sight like this anywhere else. It's fantastic. It's a great life. What would you say is your advice for happiness? Communication. People have to talk to each other and have fun. That's what the Hunter Valley is all about, happy hour. Happy hour, five, <laughs> five o'clock or four o'clock or three o'clock. Now time o'clock to touch down. Okay, bend your knees, bend your knees, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, watch out, Dave. Are you okay? Whee! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Woo! I did warn you, that wind was picking up. <laughs> and leave my boyfriend and my hat in the dust. Time to taste great wines of the Hunter and to cleanse my palate, beer shots, with my good friend Phil Healy, owner of Hunter Valley Resort. You know, you'd make a great barman. You think hey? I haven't done this already? Hey, whoop. How do you think I got through college? <laughs> this tastes like chocolate cake. Indeed. Okay, now we've done the beer, time for wine. Now that happiness is brewing, a lesson at the very cool Hunter Valley Wine School. School can be fun. School is very fun. <laughs> and I want you to remember the flavor of that wine with your nose blocked. Now try the wine again without your nose blocked. Yes. Seventy percent of the flavor of wine happens in your nose. Interesting. Interesting and nose opening. Now Phil has me revved up for our tasting tour. So where are we now? This is Leo Gate. Leo Gate's vineyard here produces slightly more masculine than medium bodied. Well, I like masculine. <laughs> Can I just say, I'm looking at these two wines and I'm loving the legs on them. A masculine glass with a good set of legs. I'm ready to drink that. <laughs> mm. You be the judge. That's magic. Everything seems magic in The Hunter, including Scotty Combs Semillon at Pepper Tree Wines. Best vintage since 1965. 14 in The Hunter Valley. I should stock up. And happy times. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. A couple of cases worth. That's a really good party right there. Now the perfect winery to end our tour. Tyrrells have been here since 1858. Wow. The original Tyrrells hut. Here we go. Tyrrells. And here's My Chris Tyrrell. Yeah, this is where it all began. Edward Tyrrell. Founder Edward Tyrrell built this tiny cottage in the middle of the wilderness in 1858, and he planted 20 acres of vines. Now Tyrrells bottles half a million cases of wine annually, proving no vision is too big to start small. So this is the original cellar. This is my great, great grandfather. And over 150 years of history is up here. Yeah. Including you. Including me, but there's not enough room there, is there? I might have a little picture outside or something. <laughs> I think Dad sees clearly how his son fits into the big picture. So the key to happiness and the hunter is the family business. This is the cradle of the Australian wine industry. And it's the families that nurture that and make create all of those things that, that make people excited about it. Well, I'm excited and thank you for creating a story for me to have such happiness. Thanks very much. Cheers to you. And you haven't got a wine, Bruce. Yeah, there's no we'll happiness. We'll get him one later. No happiness for me. <laughs> That's okay, I'll share mine with you, Bruce. <laughs> I think you have two choices when you wake up in the day. It's going to be a good day or a bad day, and only you can choose that. I'm